Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, October 24, 2025. Here follows the solutions to problem 241. And the solutions are from Keith Norman. Before we show his solutions, uh, is the question uh, whether this is a easy or a difficult problem. In my view, I would be able, I would have been able to do this problem when I was in high school. Uh, I have to really call this an easy problem. Extremely simple, and yet there were only about 10 correct solutions. Uh, what that means really to me that very few people are willing to put in some efforts and maybe look at some of my lectures. Keith writes here, for anyone finding this difficult, I suggest Walter Lewin Edo 1 Lecture 3 and Walter Lewin Edo 2 Lecture 1. And then he adds, I assume there is no fringe E field at the boundaries of the plates. The curved path is parabolic, so F equals MA. There is no relativistic correction. So there you see F in the y direction is M times A. The force in the y direction is of course the electric field times the charge, E times Q. But electric field is the potential difference divided by the distance d. And so eliminating Fy, he finds then that this is the acceleration in the y direction. Since there is no force in the x direction, the speed Vx is constant. Time taken to pass through the E-field is therefore L divided by Vx, because Vx is constant. So part A then is easy. On leaving the field, Vy is constant until reaching the screen. And there you see Vy. That is A, this A, times T2, which is this T2. And there you see the answer. Oh, when I said T2, he, he really calls it T of L. <laughs> Part B. The time taken to pass through the linear portion, and he calls that T, capital D, is D over Vx. Trivial, right? Total y deflection is the sum of the reflections due to the two regions. this region and that region. And there you see the sum of the two. And he massages it a little further, a little bit of algebra, and out pops the result. No one can really argue 
that this was a difficult problem. And would this be uh, covered first year college? That's possible, of course. Would it be covered in most high schools? Definitely, no doubt in my mind. All right. If you simply didn't want to put in any more time, then you have. That's very disappointing to me. But let's face it, it's your problem, not my problem. My biblical problems are there to remind you of something that you already knew, but also to expand your horizon and see a little bit further than you have been able to do so far. All right then, we'll leave it with that and I will post the next problem 242 uh, in about one week.